I'm Coop, and this is a short explanation of the difference between direct plunger tube systems and reverse plunger tube systems in reference to nerf blasters. Both systems use common components even though their form and orientation varies. First, I'll explain the direct plunger system since it's a bit more traditional. Examples of the direct plunger tube system include the Nightfinder, Longshot, Stampede, Firefly, and Crossbow, and many other spring nerf guns. There is a plunger tube, plunger rod, plunger head, o-ring, and spring in the orientation shown. When primed, the plunger rod is pulled back, which compresses the spring and readies the plunger head. When the trigger is pulled, the plunger head advances, which compresses the air and propels the dart. This system is very basic and pretty air efficient compared to other concepts. The only dead space in the system is between the end of the plunger tube and the end of the dart, which varies from gun to gun or mod to mod. Next is the reverse plunger tube system. This was used in some of the in-strike blasters prior to the Elite line. The main advantage of the reverse plunger tube system is the reduction in space used. Examples of the reverse plunger tube system include Maverick, Scout, Recon, Raider, and Alpha Trooper. Keep in mind, this system is not as energy efficient as the direct plunger system and was primarily used by Hasbro in order to save space in order to make their blasters more tactical. This system, like the direct plunger tube system, also uses a plunger tube and spring, but the plunger rod and head are sort of combined into a single piece which also supports the o-ring. This plunger rod is unlike any direct plunger rod because it actually allows air to travel through it. Please note, the spring's location and orientation will vary from blaster to blaster. When this system is primed, the plunger tube itself actually moves back, which compresses the spring. When the trigger is pulled, the plunger tube advances, which moves into the o-ring and creates pressure, which is released out of the barrel propelling the dart. The air is being pushed out of the left side in this particular diagram. The blue area in this diagram is dead space, meaning it's extra space which allows the air pressure to dissipate and reduce the overall power and range of the nerf blaster. Dead space is nearly impossible to avoid completely, but the reverse plunger tube system uses significantly more than the direct plunger tube system. The increased dead space of the reverse plunger tube system is the primary reason modders don't like this system. The air pressure isn't as high compared to a direct plunger tube system using the same spring and plunger tube volume. This means that you either have to increase the spring or plunger tube volume in order to compensate for the inefficiency of this system. That concludes my quick explanation of the difference between direct and reverse plunger tube systems. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching.